You know, friends, uh, many years ago, back in the early, uh, say the 20s and 30s and 40s, 50s, the cult tower sent out uh, people to disrupt uh, Christendom's churches on Sunday mornings. They would disrupt the, the church services. They would be outside with picket signs, handing out tracts. That's what they would do every Sunday. They disturbed people at their church services. But now when it comes down to the year 2017 and some apostates are doing it to them, oh, brother, it's a different story now. Oh, they can't take it, say. Uh, how dare them to disrupt our service? How dare them? But when they were doing it, it was okay, see. Do you see how hypocritical they are? They are damn hypocrites. They like to dish it out, but they can't take it when you give it to them. But my main subject, friends, that I want to discuss right now is this so-called persecution that they're always crying about. Persecution. Persecution. If you don't agree with them, it's persecution. See, you know the Bible does speak about persecution. Uh, you will be persecuted for my name's sake. It does say that. But it don't say nothing about being persecuted for shunning people. It don't mean uh, persecution. When people hate you for what you do in the name of religion, that's not persecution. When people disagree with you on the way you call yourself serving God, that's not persecution. It's not persecution. Like when uh, Russia banned them, they called it persecution. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. They broke Russia's laws. Simple as that. That is not persecution. When a cop stops a man from speeding, that's not persecution. He's carrying out the law. If a cop stops a dope pusher, that's not persecution. He's carrying out the law. And there are so many things that the cult tower cries out about persecution. Persecution is a word they love to throw around. But friends, remember, persecution applies in certain things. It doesn't apply to everything. For example, the cult tower is very well disliked because of the lie they got caught up in the U.N., that wasn't persecution. That was not persecution. You got caught lying. It's not persecution. When you shun people and treat them like a piece of clay, that's not persecution. When they disfellowship people for nothing because they question uh, some policy, it's not persecution. Everything in this world to them is persecution. Persecution. Okay? When doctors try to uh, persuade a, a parent to let their child have a blood transfusion because he'll die if he don't, they call it persecution. That's not persecution. The doctor's carrying out 
his lawful duty. And the cult tower people is so self-righteous. This is why they're disliked. That's not persecution. And calling yourself the channel of God. And people don't believe that nonsense. That's not persecution. And the big one. When you bring out the facts of child molestation, all the suits they're losing, all the money they're paying out with a gag rule, that's not persecution. But they'll say it is. Oh, we're being persecuted. Uh-uh. You're not being persecuted. They're always talking about Armageddon. Keeping pe people in captivity with this Armageddon nonsense all the time. And if you don't believe it, it's persecution. It's persecution. If you don't dis if you disagree with a cult tower representative, it's persecution. I get sick of hearing it. And they keep their flock in fear of questioning them. And then if you do question them, they're a disfellowship. And then if you say anything about it, it's persecution. You know, friends, there is so much hate against the cult tower today that you could go on and on and on with it. There's a lot of hate out there against them. But they're bringing it on their own selves. Because people know they're getting away with all this crap that they're pulling is because of a closed society. Only certain things gets out to the public. See? And they, they go in charades and, and, you know, if they're ever caught. And then when they're caught with their pants down, it's persecution. In fact, I would say that is one of their biggest, biggest words they use. Say, <laughs> it's a funny thing how you can be banned from doing something. It's persecution. Say, they want everything their way. And if they don't get it, they're like a little child who's small rotten. Persecution! Persecution! Eh? They always holler persecution. In order for a country to have a society of a uh, halfway normal, you gotta have rules and regulations. But to the cult tower, it's persecution! It's persecution! I have never in my life seen a so-called religion to cry sour apples every time they can have their way. They got to have their way. And if they don't have their way, you guessed it, it's persecution. Persecution. They, they love that word. They love that word so much that it's in your minds no matter what it is. No matter what it is. If a certain, uh, uh, apartments don't allow them to bother people, they have a sign up saying that. That's persecution. It's persecution if you don't want to believe that nonsense that they spew out. 
It's persecution. It ain't no persecution, friends. You know what I'm talking about. If people have wised up to this nonsense, the cult tower is in trouble. And this is one of the reasons people don't like them no more. Because people can see through it. They can see how they want everything their way. And if I don't have my way, I'm going to take it to the Supreme Court. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get my law firm to, to fight for us. It's persecution. You know, when they applied for uh, money from the United Way, from the United Way now, you know, that's to help charitable organizations. You guessed it. The cult tower gets money from the United Way. Yes, they do. And keeps that money for themselves. They don't give it to nobody. And if probably the United Way had to turn them down, that's right, persecution. Persecution. You're turning us down because we are lovers of Jehovah. Lovers of Jehovah. Hey, you're doing a charitable work by bothering people on Saturday morning. You're doing a charitable work. And if it's not carried out to your whims, it's persecution. It's persecution. You know, I think people have wised up to this nonsense now. Persecution. You know, to me, persecution is not persecution when you're breaking laws and going against the whims of the majority of people or when you're disturbing them. That's not persecution. No. If I don't agree with you, it's persecution? Uh-uh. You people are nuts. You people are nuts. You're crazy. Just because I don't agree with you, it's persecution. Well, friends, I'm going to close this talk, this video, and I'm sure y'all have got the theme of this video, I drove the point home as much as I could about persecution. You know, the Bible says you will be persecuted for righteousness sake. Is molesting children? Is shunning people? Is that righteousness sake? Uh-uh. But the cult tower will try to convince you that it is. It's persecution. And because I catch you lying to me about belonging to the NGO, it's persecution because I caught you. It's persecution. Well, that's all I'm going to say, friends, about persecution. But remember, persecution persecution is not doing what Jesus wanted you to do. It's doing what men want you to do. Yeah. If you're going to think the way they do, everything is persecution. Uh-uh. No. Anyone doing right to say... Ain't going to hardly be persecuted. No. So friends, thank you. And remember, next time a cult tower representative or a Pharisee and scribe from our kingdom hall knock on your door, and then if you don't listen to him, he's going to say you're persecuting him. Don't believe that nonsense. No.
You have freedom too. Thank you, friends.